Hi everyone. I am Dr. Soundara Raj. I am very happy to interact with you all through this video. In this video, I am going to deliver a lecture on meaning, definition, and nature of international marketing. These are all a couple of details related to my career. After you watch the full video, if you find the video useful to you, give a like to the video. Do subscribe my channel and enable the notification button so that. you will get the notifications of my future videos meaning of international marketing the term international marketing refers to the exchanges across national boundaries for the satisfaction of human needs and wants it means that exchanges that are taken place between the marketers and the consumers across the national frontiers of a nation for the purpose of satisfying the needs and wants of the human beings in other country market as well international marketing simply means the sale and purchase of products and services in a market that acts as a platform for several other country market companies from different countries attempt to draw customers by promoting their products and services on the same platform the companies of different countries attract their customers by way of different sort of promotional strategies and try to compete with one another in the same platform international marketing is just not simple extension of domestic marketing mix to various nations obviously the marketing mix which is being followed by a company in a domestic country market cannot be extended as it is to various other country markets it's because of the simple reason that the markets of different countries are heterogeneous we cannot expect the markets of all the countries to be homogeneous in terms of the customers characters and behavior therefore it is obvious to customize the marketing mix of a particular company when it goes to different countries or when it goes to serve the people of different countries in international marketing the marketing strategies are to be customized according to the local needs culture economic conditions purchasing power geographic conditions government regulations etc of different countries for example mcdonalds has customized its menu among different countries as per the local food habits when it has come to india it has customized its menu by virtue of that it is now offering a veg burger which is meant for majority of the vegetarian customers in india definition according to katiora and graham international marketing is a performance of business activities designed to plan price promote and direct the flow of a company's goods and services to consumers or users in more than one nation for a profit so obviously all these business activities that are basically designed what for to plan the product to price it to promote and to direct the flow of the products and services to the consumers or users in more than one country market with the objective of earning profit according to tepstra and sorati international marketing consists of finding and satisfying global customer needs better than competition both domestic and international and of coordinating marketing activities within the constraints of the global environment so beautifully these two people have stated that international marketing makes an attempt to find and satisfy the needs and wants of the customers better than competition both in the domestic and international market and the marketers also involve in coordinating their activities within the constraints of the global market environment nature of international marketing the first point of concern here is complex it is very complex in nature as the global company or an international company has to analyze its marketing environment in various nations the marketing environment in various nations could vary widely there could be some exceptions a good example that comes to my mind is that we find greater similarity between the consumers of singapore and malaysia and similarly the consumers of australia and new zealand in their buying habits in their preference we find greater similarity therefore these two could be accommodated together as a homogeneous market for a particular company 
but in general we find a lot of variations or differences in the buying habits and preferences of the consumers belong to different country markets therefore international marketing activity itself is complex in nature the second nature of international marketing is wide scope its scope is very very wide the global company can sell its products and services in many nations a good example that is mentioned here is coca-cola the company is selling its products in more than 150 nations as of now more risky it's due to the country risk political risk of various countries international marketing is more risky in its nature the next point to be discussed here is controllable and uncontrollable variables international marketing has both controllable and uncontrollable variables of both domestic and foreign nations controllable variables what they refer here is the elements of marketing mix which could be really customized according to the conditions that demand for such customization when the company goes to different countries with its marketing mix the product could be a bit customized in terms of brand name in terms of certain features like color pricing etc then regarding uncontrollable variables the company should change themselves according to the conditions that exist in the competitive environment the legal environment or a political environment or technological environment or cultural environment of the countries where the companies go with their products in international marketing the next nature of international marketing is it requires services of experts obviously when a company goes global gets into another country crossing the frontiers of the domestic country or home country market it has to depend upon the experts in the field of export shippers packaging companies information technology technocrats etc for offering better service to the customers in the international markets the next nature is more competition Obviously when a company goes out of its home country market to market its products in other countries definitely it will evidence a greater intensity and level of competition from companies from various parts of the world which also come to compete with our company in the international market Thanks for watching this video I hope I have done my lecture up to your level of satisfaction I'll meet you in another video bye for now everyone